Okay, guys, do you ever just wake up and then you look at something and then you're like, hmm, I feel old. I didn't think that would be a thing. What's going on? I've, I've had one of those moments yesterday and a lot of you may have as well. Some of you may not have. Uh, if you're not on Reddit or Twitter or anything like that, you may not have seen this image. This image came across me feed there yesterday and I was looking at it and yeah, it is what it is. So it looks like simulators, you know what I mean? It looks like a LAN event, looks like an esports event. But you look closer and it looks like an office. The people look like they're in work mode. They don't exactly look engaged. I think for the few steering wheels we can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go on, I'll throw an eight down there. No one has their hands on the wheels. So it's a very um, unenthusiastic esports event if it is that, but it's not. What it is, is a remote control, remote room um, that's designed to, like, when autonomous taxis get into a bit of trouble these are taxis that you get in the back of and then you know you look at the front the steering wheel is moving by itself i'm not sure about the pedals um and it's just driving itself using software and mapping and all that cool ai technology that some people are making out there but if it ever gets into a hiccup someone needs to get you out of the sticky situation a human needs to step in so here are the humans and the humans apply their human skills to go around a cone or maybe some badly painted lines that the computers can't do. But like just looking at this, I think this needs to be talked about. Like people need to know about this. And not only is this like as cool as it seems and as, as weird as it seems, they're using Logitech G29s, which I think is goat. They're using the goat of steering wheels. But like, you know, those pedals down there, anyone that's owned a pair of those ped a pair, a set, of the Logitech G29 pedals knows if a bit of floof gets in to those pedals, those pedals will do what they want. Little spike and breaking, yeah. A bit of dragging on the brakes, yeah. A bit of accidental spiking in the throttle, yeah. You know, I don't know if I'd be trusting my life with one of those potentiometers that's in those pedal sets. <laughs> one thing I think that is really cool, and we're not gonna just skimp over this and, and say it's, you know, dangerous or whatever. There's a lot of love that's been put into this room. like. The actual setups of the simulators do look very futuristic. Um, it, it is a neat old design. They do look to have some comfy old chairs. It looks to be basically a simulator that's been custom made for this purpose. An ultra wide monitor. We have mir what seems to be mirrors uh, for the rear and then mirrors for the right hand side, which probably extend to the blind spots. So essentially you see what the car sees and that's probably a lot. Um, you have the car controls right in front of you. You have some sort of overhead view that the cameras kind of paint this 360 picture. And then you have like a little tablet on the side. You can kind of control your stuff or just, you know, take control if you have to. So uh, the way it works is cars have to be in China for every one in three or four cars. There has to be someone basically uh, they're ready to take remote control. So maybe when they're not doing it, they're all monitoring the cars, I think, you know, just swiping between them, making sure everything's okay. Like, it's just, it's bizarre. And just because something's bizarre doesn't mean it's weird, but come on, it is a bit odd. I've never been in a self-driving taxi before, and guys, just take this minute here, scroll down, let me know what you think. What's your honest opinions? Because I've been looking around on, on Reddit so far, and some of the comments have me absolutely in knots. I'm just going to read through some of them for you. Um, someone adding sim racing to the resume right away. It's like <laughs> some guy, Adam86. Sir, one of our cars is driven to the Nordschleifer. It's like, imagine the Nordschleife. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, Timmy over there, he has 1400 I rating on Dirt Oval. Give it to him. You know, <laughs> he has to get off. <laughs> you know? It can't navigate the track. Sir, all of our fleet is going towards the village of Nurburg in Germany. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's it's something really, really, really interesting. Great to see how we can die IRL due to netcode. <laughs> Bit of a dark one, but go on, it's Sunday, you know? <laughs> um, it's very interesting, FOV police deployed. I wonder if force feedback work with the cars remotely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> someone said it. They better hope those pedal potentiometers don't start fucking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hope their cyber security is very good. This goes on forever, and I'm going to leave the link to this Reddit post I'm looking at. There's a few of them going around. There's some on Twitter, too, but if you want to check it out for yourself, the comments are worth just um, going through. Someone said it seems very boring, which, to be honest, it does look kind of boring. I think the first day you come in, it's like, whoa, whoa, sim racing job. And then it's like, I think a few days in, you're just spaced out, head back in the seat, 
yeah, that kind of job. Looks very interesting, though. Yeah, so just let me know what you think down below about all this. But one thing I would like to lead on to, kind of like a fantasy, and this is very much a discussion video, so just, you know, if you're not up for the rant, you probably would have left by now. If you're up for the rant, you're still here. If you're still here, leave a very b weird emoji down below, like an emoji you'd never use. I'm like Netflix. Are you still there? You're still there. But now onto the very ranty part. So that, that's pretty cool. We've covered that. I think that's some that's newsworthy. You know, I'd like people to know about that. I want people to like let me know what they think about it. Um, it's odd, but it's very, very interesting. But now I was always thinking I'd love to see like this kind of technology kind of um, explored more. As you know, I'm a big F1 fan. And there's the limitation of, you know, safety this, we can't go this fast, we can't make them do this, we can't, we can't do, go upside down, we can't do backflips. But if we had remote driving cars with almost, well, let's say with zero latency, let's just fantasize here. Could you imagine the tracks we could do? You could make cars that could stick upside down, you could make huge banking, almost sideways driving roller coaster stuff you know so that that if this technology is kind of pushed i'd like to see it but we're still on g29s with a lot of people sitting around very unenthusiastically so yeah and again sorry there's just the one image but at the same time there is just the one image so you know i wish i had like a video of seeing someone actually use it and get it out because they're probably using the full range of the wheel and i hope that i don't think they'd need a clutch most of the cars are probably electric but like, yeah, it's very, very interesting. But let, let's just push this a bit more, make the cars faster, make some cool, cool roller coaster tracks, you know, spectators really far away. And let's uh, let's see some cars fly. You know, that's all I'm saying. But uh, let me know what you think of this down below. I think it's really, really cool. The link is below if you want to check it out. Um, there's also another source or two I'll leave. Um, you'll have to translate the website if you want to see it. But um, yeah, that's really, really, really awesome stuff. I'd like to try it out for one day one day just a day in the life you know i wonder if i'd be any good but uh, yeah guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like comment let me know what you think about all this stuff and if you're not already subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you watched the f1 today this is recorded before i hope it was a good race and if it wasn't maybe next week but uh yeah happy hunting guys